Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're now on the fifth assignment, Mediolanum, in the military campaign. And this mission took a total of four hours, so this is gonna be a two-parter. And in this part one video, we're gonna be setting up the city, doing the basics, handling some of that early military, and doing some interesting things with block designs. But after you watch this video, which is part one, be sure to check out part two, because in part two, I start to do some interesting challenges and deal with the largest invasion. All right, so now you know, let's get started with the mission. I now require a major Roman city on the empire's northern border. Create a city of no fewer than 7,000 souls within sight of the Alps. Furthermore, I expect you to achieve higher levels of prosperity and culture than you have done so far, although your goals are still only moderately high. Ordinarily, I would expect more of you from a province as large as Mediolanum, but the rugged terrain will provide you with a new challenge. This time of rampant warfare is hard on all my governors. The great Carthaginian general Hannibal is on the march, and Rome is locked in the greatest struggle in her long history. When this so-called Punic War finally ends, either Rome or Carthage will rule the Mediterranean for all time. Of course, Rome shall prevail, but I've yet to find the general who can crush this Hannibal. With the Alps guarding your province, you probably have less to fear from Hannibal than do most other Roman governors. No army could cross such a barrier. Nonetheless, Rome's enemies are bolder than ever. Prepare strong defenses just in case. The Carthaginians are formidable warriors. All right. So this is Mediolanum, as he said, the Punic Wars. And the objectives here are probably the first real objective, 7,000 people on a military mission, prosperity 25, favor 30, culture 40, peace of 40. And look at that. No way could they cross those mountains. Look, the, the screen, the, this 3D screenshot in the back already tells us how they do it. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to the city. Uh, we'll slow things down. Pause the game and have a quick look around. Now, a few things I want to change this time around. There are actually wolves on this map. I think they will spawn... I think they start up here somewhere. There we go. There are wolves on this map, which could cause some problems, uh, especially with the immigration glitch, which happens between 200 and 300 people. If the wolves come down this way and start uh, killing our immigrants, that will be a bit of a problem. Uh, so I'm not sure if we're gonna have to be able to work around that, but some good news. This is a large map, so we probably don't have to do a well maze, if anything. Uh, so that's gonna be good. Razuma asks... Razuma90, by the way, just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, Razuma. Ask immigration glitch? Ooh, yeah. Between 200 and 300 people on very hard, people just move out. They don't... they stop moving in. So you have to have enough immigrants walking to your houses uh, before that gets started. Now, this uh, this has a ton of farmland, so plenty of food can be made. And what are our raw materials? Well, farms, wheat and vegetable, two types of food, raw materials, marble quarry, iron mine, timber yard. Okay, so that's pretty handy. Uh, what are our exports? We are here, Mediolanum, land trade routes only, I think. We could sell iron and furniture. We can sell weapons, iron furniture weapons. So. We could have an industry sort of tucked away back here, possibly. Uh, iron furniture weapons, yeah. It seems like that's probably the best spot. Or we could set it up right here, right at the entrance. So this could be... We could sell things as soon as the caravans come in. That might be handy. Ah. Depends what I want the industry... I might want the industry far away from the entrance points. Give the caravans a bit more time to walk. They could buy more things. I think it works out that way. Mm. Anyway, the block I want to do here, I've done a rectangle block before, but I want to do a proper one. So let's start by clearing off this whole forest here, because the, the first time I played through this map, I built on top of the farmland. <laughs> not, uh, not the most pleasant of things. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have What's the range of this farmland? Quite far, actually. Yeah, it's quite far. So 
it's sort of there. Okay, so I'm gonna have a road that goes here and a road that goes here. And this is not the housing road. One, two, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. This is gonna be the housing block. And it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, six by twelve. Let's get that right. Six by twelve. And also, with this rectangle block, I'm gonna go three deep on... Actually, if I'm, go I'm gonna go three deep on housing. So that means I should actually shift this road a little bit more. I actually need the road to do this. Because I'm going to make this block as population filled as possible. And we're gonna have to clear off some of these trees here. And we're gonna go because there's gonna be three rows of housing and then a gap. And if you don't know how I'm gonna do three rows of housing, one, two, three, gap, uh, I will show you. And also, we might actually be able to, uh, maybe not with this, but okay, let's, let's get housing going down first, yeah? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. We're gonna start with that. And we could have our first reservoir just sort of be back a bit. Yeah, first reservoir will be there. And I guess I will go for a gatehouse. How do I want to do this? If I place one, two, one, two three. Yeah, I can have a gatehouse there. Uh, gatehouse will go right here. And this will hook up like that, and we will clear that off. And we're gonna need houses there. This is actually not exactly how I wanna have the houses, because there's gonna be like a row of houses three deep like that. We can support this for now because um, of this road on the back. But all of these back houses need to be two by twos, need to be two by twos. What's the range of this? Really? I do have to have that reservoir there, huh? Okay, I'll move the reservoir up. Just to make sure things are as clean as possible. Okay, so that's gonna go there. And then I guess we just go for the usual services. Uh... I'll keep that there. Prefecture, engineer's post. One, two, three, four. Doctors, we'll get those three down first. And the road out here will have access to housing. We could have granaries and farms going around the outskirts, not a problem. Uh, which means I will need to have like a prefecture an engineer's post here. Okay, that will be the start of our city. That'll be the start of our city. Mm. They're already moving in. If I did need to do a well maze to delay immigration, I could always just block off here and then have to walk all the way around this cliff. I just need to see if we can get away with it like this without a well maze. Okay. Let's get some people moving in first. There we go. I didn't put down that fountain. Uh, fountain goes right there. Um, and then we go for... Make sure water services are one, prefectures two, engineering three, governance and religion four. To make sure any temples we put down will be good. And... We probably need to just plaza this up a bit first. Get those houses going. Okay, and then for what I actually want to do, I need to do this. So this, this is a little expensive to do, but I guess I can get away with it. I'm gonna have these alternating statues. So I can have that row of houses there and this row of houses here. Get that moving in. 
And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We need to do this to force the houses to evolve in a certain way. And we're gonna have this do that and fill that up there. And we're gonna need fountains. That's already covered, so one, two, three, four. Fountain there, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fountain. One, two, three, four. Here, for symmetry. Okay. That's gonna bring in a few more people. Distant battle, you can see this is a military mission. How is our employment? We still need more people to move in. Uh, yeah, once we get to about 200, we probably we probably do need to have a, some kind of block, right? But also, I'm, I'm worried about the wolves. Where are the wolves gone? The wolves are here. Okay. The wolves could very well come this way. Actually, they're on the move now. Um... Are the wolves gonna come down this way? If the wolves come down this way, we might be in trouble. I think they are. If they come down this way, they're gonna start killing our immigrants, which is not gonna be good. <laughs> um, if they turn this corner, we might have to do something about it. They're totally coming down this way. Oh, okay. How much is a wall? Uh, wall. 12 denarii. I could very much just wall this off for now. I need to protect my people. If I wall this off, then we should be good to go. That should stop them, right? They shouldn't be able to cross this stuff here. But you know, just in case, I'll finish the wall. Okay, so this will be our defense against invaders as well. And I'm not sure if the wolves would just turn around and come around from the other side. What will they do? Do they just stop here? They, they kind of turn around, but I don't know which way they're going. Okay, we'll keep an eye on our population for now. Let's get temples down. Uh, we'll go for Ceres and Venus on the inside. Actually, I don't want the Ceres Temple to be there. I want it to be like... Ceres can go there. Venus can go... here. And we're gonna go... Temples around the outside, on this side, I think. Neptune. Mercury. And Mars. And we can have... A couple prefectures, a couple engineers posts on the outside there. Make sure things don't burn down. They have access to housing from here. You can see the 2 by 2s are forming around here. Okay. Immigrants are coming in. I'm not sure if we can get around the immigration bug like this, but we're gonna give it a shot. And we're gonna have this row of houses there. And I think I... We're just crossing 200 now. I'm not sure if this is enough immigrants, but we'll find out soon. I'm gonna need to do the small statue trick here as well. Misclicked one there, that's fine. We'll get those houses down there. And then we need to start... Oh, the wolves are coming around this way. <laughs> um... I'm not sure if we could deal with them. If they walk through here... And I'll have a wall like that. There we go. I don't want to just trap the wolves. I want to do this properly because trapping the wolves right at the start is kind of... not very nice. So there we go. I've stopped the wolves from coming in properly. Properly. 
people disgruntled. Yeah, they're gonna start moving out soon. We'll let these immigrants move in. It might actually be enough to reach 300. It might actually be able to do it. And we're gonna need like a reservoir. Like over on this side. Like there. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit messy, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I'll fix that later. We need to get... We need to get past this, this bug first. But eventually I will be moving over to this side. We're gonna need houses there. And we're gonna break this road. And we're gonna break this road. We will... This will be our industrial zone. There we go, that's the bug of moving out. Uh, raw materials, iron mine. The road has to be one over. And then we have this road sort of coming around like that. And we'll just have these houses there. Okay, this will be our industrial zone for timber, furniture, iron, weapons. Okay, that looks good. Ah, okay. That one didn't evolve quite correctly. Yeah. I do have to redo the initial housing, but okay. Let's get through this. House our uh, 33 unemployed workforce. Okay. We can start getting down farms, I guess. Uh, I want the granary to be right here. And then we can go wheat, wheat, wheat. I'll probably double up on the prefecture and engineer's post. I could have them here. There we go. So because this road is within two tiles of these houses, uh, they have access to employment on the outer road. Delete the needless prefectures. Um, now I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep them. I actually want, like, one on each side to make sure the outside is secure. Food's gonna start coming in. We actually reached 300 people. Okay, no need for a well maze. <laughs> ah, fantastic. So these houses will start moving in. Uh, I could have just another reservoir right here to deal with this problem. We're gonna go into debt and get our first uh, gift from Caesar. And this is gonna go right here. Are all these houses covered? Oh, this row of houses shouldn't exist, I think. Actually, we might be able to support that. Yeah, if I expand one, two, three. Yeah, expand those by two. That will actually cover a bit more housing, okay. And we'll need one more reservoir around the back, but no rush for that. More people are moving in soon, maybe? Are we not past the immigration bug? Unemployment, 7%. This series boosts the fertility of crops, okay. <laughs> so we can't set up our industry until that house there moves in. We kept the wolves out, that's good. Is there anything else we need right now? Uh, Doctor is down. Okay. I'm leaving three tiles here, so we could fit like an amphitheater or... We could even fit an academy inside this block here. But you can see the amount of population that this block will support. It's pretty good. Oh, right. There are no fires on... <laughs> on northern maps. Thank you. Uh, we actually do not need prefectures, but... I'm keeping the prefectures because... I actually... They, they do multiple things. I'm gonna acknowledge right here. You do not need prefectures for fires on northern maps because fires do not exist. But if there is a gladiator riot, wolves get into my city, or invaders get too close, prefects can kill. Like we did on uh, a previous mission, we actually defeated a curse from Mars with just prefects. <laughs> you can totally do that. Now, are people moving in again? No, not yet. We are above 300 people. We just have to wait for the immigration bug to get past. 
uh, wait for things to happen. We got unemployment of 7%. We probably can have just one more wheat farm. That should feed people fine. We're almost out of money. Almost out of money. And then Caesar will give us a little bit. Building these walls is a bit costly, right? I mean, usually I'd just trap the wolves, but I didn't want to do that this time around. Ah, uh, no reason to keep the prefectures around. Yeah, but we have unemployment, so it doesn't matter, does it? Not right now. What else could we export again? Weapons, furniture, iron. Yeah, so we, we do need to just wait for... Are they moving back in? That was the immigration sound. No, people are annoyed with you. Okay. Just have to wait a little while. We'll drop taxes. This might be able to get them happy with us. Next month we'll go into debt. February. Let's wait one month. March. There we go. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. All right, that's plenty of money. People are pleased with you. Would you look at that? Let's drop this. Let's raise that again. 5%. That means people are going to start moving back in. Fantastic. We got plenty of funds now. So now I can start planning for an industry zone. Uh, we're going to need an engineer's post on this side. And yeah, that will be fine. And we're going to go... Raw materials, iron mine. How many shields is this? Two shields. And we're gonna need plenty of weapons for... Uh, our own troops as well. This road's gonna do that. We can do that. That looks a bit excessive. It probably is. Uh, we're also gonna need a warehouse right... Shift that there. Do that there. Warehouse for weapons can probably go around the end of the road. This is gonna accept just weapons. And we can probably start feeding people, actually. One, two, three. Market should probably go there, actually. Small temple to series. We'll do that. Move the market over to here. So we can start feeding people. And also I should probably break this while I have the chance. Small statue. Replace these houses there. I'm not sure if those will become two by twos, but we'll find out. Uh, that's going a bit further. Two. I actually do not need... Yeah, that'll, that'll mess up the, the formula, I think. Okay, there we go. More people moving in. Are you... No. We gotta get people over there. This house can have a well. Enemies closing already? Okay. We do have to get our military going soon. <laughs> Uh, population currently... Okay, we're a little short. We need to get food coming in. Food is going to start coming in. Fantastic. There we go. We'll start feeding these people. Look at that. And then they need entertainment. And the actor colonies and all of that stuff can go on the outside here, actually. So as... yeah, it'll provide extra access. And there we go, evolving up to here. Too little entertainment. Okay, that'll bring in a bunch more people. Why are people annoyed with me again?
I don't know why people are annoyed with me again. <laughs> did this house move in? It did. Okay, fantastic. So we can start getting some weapons workshops down. We'll get that going. That's pr we, we're going to need more weapons workshops than that. But what are we short on? We could probably cut back on food. Yeah. Yeah, those houses don't have access to water. Okay. Ah. I temporarily dropped below 300 when trashing houses. When did I do that? I don't... When did I drop below 300 population again? Did I do that? A Mars blessing might be useful. That's a good idea. Hold a new festival to Mars. Here, yeah, have 62 denarii. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and put down another Mars temple right there. And since we are short on employees, I will get rid of these prefectures. We actually don't need them. Because I thought people were going to continue to move in. There we go, there we go. How did I accidentally go below? Okay, so now we just need to wait for more people to move in. Get weapons going. A blessing from Mars would be good. He's feeling exalted. We're going to have a festival to him as well. Distant battle. Look, th this battle's not here. There's already more coming in from the north. Ah, uh, I'm going very slowly and carefully with this mission because this mission I remember is difficult. That's supposed to be there. Those houses have become two by twos. Okay. These... Basic educational facilities to evolve further. We're probably going to need two schools. There's our festival. I did drop below 300 people. Oh, that was a mistake. So I'm probably going to need two schools. I'm going to go school. You know what? Since I don't know. Okay, two schools. 500 people. There we go. How's employment? Climbing up there. Okay. These iron mines are going to start producing weapons soon. Come on, Mars. Give me a blessing. There we go. So we have enough to evolve these. If I check education, schools, it does cover everything. I'm not sure if one school will be enough. If I... There we go. A Mars blessing. If I get rid of this school... Is one school actually enough to cover this whole block? It is! Oh, okay, we only need one school. Fantastic. Now, do we have unemployment yet? Not yet. More people moving in? Yes. Get those houses evolved. There we go. Allow more people to move in. Fantastic. It is just desirability. There, okay. Supply of food, I see. So we kind of do need that farm to feed this area. But you can see how we're going three deep with the houses around this block. We're gonna need a reservoir somewhat Can that reach? Probably need it a bit closer. Like there. But weapons are coming in, which means I am going to open up this trade route. 400 pay to open that trade route, and we're going to start exporting as many weapons as possible. It is a land trade route, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So weapons are going to start coming in. We can get more weapons workshops. We're going to extend this road a little bit here. Uh, workshop weapons. There we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. That's a lot of weapons workshops. That's a lot. <laughs> but weapons are going to come streaming in. Employees needed. Okay. 
Ух! Ух! Zonshi Gaming says, it's a nice city setup. Uh, it's better than my last one anyway. Okay, okay. More people are moving in. Caravans are coming in. Fantastic. Yeah. And we're gonna start selling weapons. Plenty. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 workshops to 6 iron mines. I could probably do with one more workshop, honestly speaking. Because it tends to need one extra. Just to, to make sure things are at 100% efficiency. As in, uh, like, two workshops per raw material, and then plus one extra workshop, just in case. Workshop. So let's just do that. Distant battle? Again? A third one? From where? How many distant battles are there? Jeez, we gotta get things going. Now this road... How do I want to do this? If I move this over... Have a road like that. Have the engineer's post right there. And then I could put the barracks right... Oh, uh, really? That's a... Oh, there's a rock there. Jeez, we are under attack. Okay. <laughs> Let's just get this sorted, shall we? We're gonna have a road here. We're gonna have a barracks right there. We're gonna have the engineer's post. Just to make sure things are secure, I'll have two engineer's posts, I think. We'll get rid of this road here. We'll have this road come down like that. And we're gonna have a fort, legionnaires, and they're gonna generally come from the north. But where do I want to set up my military? On this side? I guess if I put military back here... Maybe military along here? It'll allow us to, to rush over to this side. Or maybe I should put... I should split up my military. Some on the right side, some on the left side. Yeah, I could have military here. But I'll need military back round here as well. So I'll put the first legion... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be building round here. So I'll put the first legion... Uh, back here? Yeah. Okay, so we'll start getting soldiers. No employees live nearby, that should be fixed soon enough. Can I get that evolved? Okay, weapons coming in. All right, all right. Is there another caravan coming to, so we could sell more weapons? <laughs> we need money, jeez. How is employment? 10% unemployment, fantastic. We won't evolve those houses quite yet. We'll need a house there. We're in debt, okay. But legionnaires are coming in. We have a blessing from Mars. And, whew. Hopefully that will be good enough. I'm scared of the invasions on this mission because they're big. There's only one other military mission that I'm more scared of than this one, which is Carthago. How many can we sell a year? 25? Okay, okay. How many weapons are coming in? There should be plenty in the barracks as well. Plenty of weapons coming in. Are all the workshops working? Yeah, you can see there's just like one workshop that's sometimes not working and sometimes all the workshops are working. So here these two are not working, that one's not working. So yeah, this is sort of how to get it as efficient as possible. Have one extra workshop just to make sure it's going, yeah. And this will solve our money issues. A thousand people. And we can be having later on timber yards here to get furniture going. There we go. Look at that money. 
which means we can now put down a military academy which can go right here there we go can i plaza this up to get that house evolved we can there we go that should make sure employment is stable i was told that these brown walkers will go away if there's enough employment so if you can see that some of the brown walkers are despawning now. Okay, good, good. Employment, 13% unemployment. Uh, what do I want to do? Enemies closing, okay. We could just put the amphitheater down, I guess. How much is it? I don't want to go into debt quite yet. 100, maybe I'll wait. I'll wait. We need farms though. Uh, We need to just fill this up. We will have a second type of food soon. Why did these houses devolve? Food, right, okay. We lost some people. We do need more. We do need more wheat farms. All right, there we go. Ah, oh, there's so many people who can live in this block. There's so many people. Uh, P8P67 Pro says, how about a challenge to defeat Caesar's army? <laughs> uh, not quite yet, I think. Um, let me just drop my um, salary. Uh, what is it now? 12? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I try not to use my salary for anything. Unemployment of 1%, that looks good. These guys have come in. We've got some legionnaires. They are academy trained. Okay. Setting up the first fort and academy is always expensive. But more caravan coming in, we could sell more, yes? Okay, okay. Have I played Anno 1602? I have not. The only Anno game I've ever played is 1404. But I hear a new one's coming, right? A new one? What is it? Um, what's the new one called? I forgot what it's called. Is it 1800? Oh, money's back in. Fantastic. So now we've maxed out weapon sales. So I know we can sell 25 a year with surplus while training an army. And it's December, so next time the caravans come round, we could sell even more. Okay. Food is still struggling a little bit. On the back of this, I'm going to have another granary and a bunch of vegetable farms. So we can have two types of food. Are these, house these houses are not taking food, right? Yeah. Do I need another market? Barber could go there. Okay. Now, I'm just sort of nervous about that first invasion. We do have a full fort of legionnaires. Fantastic. We need to start getting a furniture thing going. So, timber yard. Let's do that. We'll have the road extend out this way. We're going to have another warehouse right here for furniture. There we go. And we're gonna have workshops for furniture. There we go. So once we can sell furniture and weapons, then we should be making plenty of money. All the weapons workshops are working. Yes, okay, fantastic. We've got a full fort of legionnaires. Employees needed, okay. Short 36, few more people are moving in. Okay, okay. <laughs> How is our favor? Favor's fine, favor's fine. Ah, I have to import clay pottery on this mission? Yeah. That's the one of the tricky parts. I don't, there's no clay, right? Raw materials, yeah, marble, iron, timber. Marble would be handy. We can import clay from there. We gotta import oil as well, right? Yeah, we gotta import oil. 
So we need to make sure we have plenty of exports. This engineer's post, I will move over there. Enemies closing, okay. Maybe the enemies will kill the wolves for us, yeah? That'll be handy. Furniture will start coming in. Short by 48. Food is still struggling to keep up here. I think I just need like a ton of farms, right? I can put more around this side. But we're just sort of short on things. Let's get two more farms down. I mean, the market is taking a lot of food, but it's just... Yeah, we're just not getting enough food in, I think. I could destroy some weapons workshops? I actually could. And if I get rid of one iron mine and two weapons workshops, that will help solve our employment issues. Ah, the first invasion! Okay, okay. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's see. I can't remember how big the first invasion is. They're coming from there. Okay. We've only got one fort ready. But it looks like it's gonna be... They have elephants straight away. Jeez, we have a blessing from Mars. Now, which way are they gonna go? They'll have to bust through a wall to get to us. If they come down this way, hopefully they fight the wolves. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Um, caravan's coming back in. It is a new year, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh! Mars killed all of them! Yes, yes, we did it. <laughs> okay, and furniture's gonna start coming in here. Now that, look at that money, we can go ahead and aqueduct this up. We can now fountain up here. One, two, three, four. Right there. One, two, three, four. We're gonna need a fountain there as well. Bit tricky to get a reservoir around that side though. I'll figure it out in a bit. Uh, meanwhile, that's gonna bring more people in. We're gonna need more farms really because we're still struggling to get enough wheat into here. Okay. Ah. Uh, Need more Mars festivals? Yeah. A uh, whole new festival, Mars. Um, all the gods are irritated except for Mars. We're gonna need more temples. So we can just have the temples, like, go around the outside, right? Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Yeah, Mars. We'll keep Mars extra happy and Venus. Okay, that helps with desirability around the back as well, you see that? Okay, is furniture coming in? Furniture is coming in, which means I can now open up this trade route. And start selling furniture. Export all the furniture we can. We pr More invasions coming in, don't know if we can get another Mars blessing. Raw material, timber yard, we probably need more of this, right? Workshop, furniture. Yeah. We'll boost our furniture production. I probably do need more military. Is there another caravan on the way? Okay, that will pay for another fort. A lot of food is coming in. I'm not sure if... Is this... 
85% complete. I don't think the granary is too far for these. Distant battle. There's just constant military invasions on this one. We gotta be very careful. Population's high. Gods are indifferent except for Mars, which we've got an extra temple. Okay. None of the farms are getting stuck at 100%, so we can continue to have farms. This is so much more organized than my last, the last time I did this. All right, so we're gonna start selling a few more weapons here. We're gonna have a second fort of legionnaires, I think. There we go. Weapons are so valuable. And we're gonna start selling furniture as well. There's a celebration to Mars. You just bought one? Have we maxed out weapon sales? We have. Okay, but this furniture, are you buying furniture? Yes, yes. All right, exports are now on the way. Military is doubling up. I'm gonna want to have this. How do I want to do this? We have like a proper wall there. So that will be walled off there. This is walled off here. Here. I'm not sure if I should change the wall to this side. It might be easier to defend, but then if I want to expand... There's not really any good spot to expand a new residential area. We do need 7,000 people. I might have to just build it right here. Right? Right. Okay, we sold furniture. Money's come in. Fantastic. We can only have three... A six total forts. I might want to get a mounted uh, auxiliaries on this one. Can I just spam Mars temples and get like a lot of Mars blessings? <laughs> also, how much is a large statue? I've been wanting to put these down. I kind of want like a large statue in each corner. There we go. You can see the block coming together, right? You can see the block coming together. Looks good, right? That should handle desirability issues. We're going to need a reservoir back here somewhere. There'll be another road. One, two, three. That's going to be there. Can I afford to do this? 168, yes. That's gonna give water access to that row. I actually don't need this reservoir. Okay, we're gonna be invaded again. Looks like I couldn't get another Mars blessing, unfortunately. I know I spent money on large statues, but it's okay. <laughs> Ah. Uh. Desirability issues, okay. Are more traders coming in? I don't know why I bother with this route. They don't buy anything or have anything they want to sell me. Did we we didn't we didn't sell out on furniture, did we? Alright, well we're gonna have we are actually very much overproducing weapons, but unemployment of 2%, that's fine. Two legion forts, that should be good, I guess. They are military trained as well. Food seems to be stabilizing, finally. So it seems like we need this many wheat farms. I might need more. Can I actually fit more? I can fit a couple more on this road. That should help when these houses evolve further. Unemployment of 4%, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try rebuild those houses. Or should I just wait for them to evolve to 2x2s? Two uh, two I think it should be okay. There we go, finally, more money. What do you buy? Weapons? Yes. Okay, good. Just gonna go straight for three 
legion forts here. We gotta get that going. And I probably can start getting like proper wall defenses. Increase the price of furniture, fantastic. We're gonna need a gatehouse right here, I think. Yeah, gatehouse right there. This road's gonna come around like that. So we can have a road there, some houses not there, some houses here. And a couple medium statues for those guys. So we can start towering up this side at least. Uh, we're gonna need engineer's post as well. Do I need a gatehouse here? I do. Oh, right. This is not Emperor. <laughs> uh, towers. So I'm gonna need, like, a gatehouse there. Okay, that looks good. Did that not hook up properly? Okay, that looks good. That's at least something. We've got a third Legion fort on the way, and then I think we can just go... Do I put the others over on this side? Or do I just keep everything here? I think because this map is so big, we can just keep everything here. We could have the other three here. Oh! Here we go. No Mars Blessing this time. No Mars Blessing. Now what? They're coming from here? Okay, okay. So they might come down this way. Which is gonna be a little tricky. Uh, I'm gonna want to have... Like, this will be walled up as well. So we're gonna need, like, some houses there, eventually. That will be hooked up like that. And we can hook it up like that. So we could have, eventually... Yeah, we could eventually have... What are we shooting at? Oh, we're killing the wolves with the towers. Would you look at that? <laughs> now, how big is this invasion? Not too big, not too big. So I guess we could just sort of break somewhere in the middle here. We could go ahead and put down our gatehouse. And we do have plenty of money, so let's go ahead and just wall this up. And we are eventually going to have towers. One, two... One, two. One, two. One, two. Uh, it's not exactly symmetrical. I suppose... Oh, we could. You know what? We're rich. So, eventually I'm gonna shift this over one. Okay. Clear that off. I'm gonna shift these three over one later because there is actually two tiles there. Would you look at that? Okay, so now, oh, they're already on the way. Jeez, I didn't realize they started moving. Are they coming down this way? They are, okay. That wall will slow them down. I did not realize they were already on the way. Okay, I think we can take them. These wolves have run away from my towers? They did. They did actually run away. Oh, because I opened it up, they decided to come this way. But they can't make it through. Okay. Are the wolves gonna fight them? <laughs> come on, wolves. Attack them. Attack them. Yes. No. Enemies don't attack wolves, I guess. I wanted them to fight. Legionnaires move slowly. They're gonna start stabbing the wall. 
We'll have one fort just sit on the back of this. Oh, that was quick. Engage them, please. I think we can take her. Jesus, elephant. There we go. We actually only lost one. Uh, we lost one guy? Really? We lost one guy? <laughs> that was easier than I expected. Maybe, I, maybe I'm overreacting on this whole thing. Maybe it's actually not that difficult. Anyway, we're gonna shift this over. Uh, wall. So we do actually have this nice and even because of things and then we're gonna go uh, tower. One, two, one, two, one, two. There we go, perfect, perfect. It looks amazing, right? And we actually need the houses to be there, not here. And we're gonna go a couple medium statues here. And look at that, we're killing off the wolves. All right, money seems to have stabilized. Furniture, weapons have come in in excess. Uh, we could now just focus on maybe expanding military. I mean, if I get down six forts, then I can just not focus on anything else, right? Uh, I'm gonna wanna like some javelins. They can go back here as well. So a couple javelins. Oh, we don't have money to do all that, but okay, there we go. Those two towers are activated. This wall here is gonna be very defensible. I just have to make sure I start moving my troops somewhere to the middle before the enemy starts moving through. You can see that. Thomas Rogerius, a sentry, heading on over to defend this wall. Okay. I think the hard part of this mission is now over. I think the hard part's over. Look at that, food has stabilized. We can now... Another invasion. <laughs> all right, all right. From this side, okay. So we're gonna need to move all of these guys over. This looks slightly bigger than last time. Maybe a little bit bigger, yeah? <laughs> uh. Uh, it's, it's a bit bigger. It's a bit bigger. Steve the Capitulator? Yeah, he must be in there somewhere, right? Mustafa, Yusuf, Marmaduke, Suleiman, Yasir, Yusuf, Hassan, Mirja, Mus uh, Maybe Steve the Capitulator is not on this map. Alright, so we're gonna fight. Under these towers, I'm waiting for as many troops to come up there as possible. Here they come. I think we can take it. They're all coming down this way, right? Yeah. I'd like to have like a bit of a gauntlet here, actually. Maybe I could do like a tower defense thing? Are we still killing wolves? Oh, they're actually shooting the wolves over on that side. Jeez, those ballista are getting to work. Okay, okay. We can handle this. Just in case. Gonna charge these guys forward. A few extra troops would not hurt. Are they, are they in range of the towers yet? Come on, towers, start shooting. There we go. And we'll just sit here as the towers shoot them. All right, all right. They're gonna start charging in soon. Make sure they don't get to our towers. Okay, okay. Elephants are tough. There we go, one's down. I think we've got it, I think we've got it. Bashim, yeah. And Ishtar, Bashim and Ishtar. There we go, yes. Okay, that was a little bit bigger than before, but I think we're still handling it okay. <laughs> and we suddenly have a lot of money. So, 
Uh, I'm just gonna top up on javelins. What happened there? Okay, top up on javelins, and we can top up on, finally, a mounted force. So we have total maximum number of six, that is maximum, right? Yeah. Maximum number of uh, troops are going to be prepared as soon as possible. We lost a few soldiers. Okay, not to worry. Money is streaming in, so that means... Uh, how do I want to do this? I'm going to have... to shift some of these things around. How do I want to do this? I'm going to get rid of this. This is going to be a warehouse for us to... I'm just going to set this up now. This is where we're going to be getting pottery and furniture, I think. Actually, getting furniture from here... Because the trade routes... Timber? Really? Because of the trade route, they'll come and buy furniture from here first. So I probably do actually want to move the furniture industry to over here. Yeah, I'm eventually going to have to do it. Just have something. Actually, we're going to, we should do this timber yard. Raw materials, timber yard, and we can go one, two, three, four, and we'll have the road sort of do this. So it does something like that. We actually don't need any of this. We'll clear off all of this road, shifted that over, put the houses in the middle there. We're going to have the engineer's post here, and then we're going to have the warehouse right here. This is going to be accepting. You know what? I'll set this to accepting uh, timber for now because there is actually a request for that, but this will become the furniture producing and exporting area, right? That makes sense. You can have a well. We'll give you a couple of medium statues here. Okay. Ah. Gostaus says, watch the well maze last night was a real work of art. <laughs> the well maze. We didn't have to do it on this map. We didn't actually have to do it on this map because uh, this map is big enough. We're actually at the point where the well maze is no longer required because the maps are big enough. Okay. So we're about an hour into this map now. I think we're doing pretty well. And... I actually want to set up another row of defenses right here. How do I want to do that? Like this. Because money is no longer an issue. Uh, we're gonna need a gatehouse somewhere in the middle. How do I do this? I could have this a bit longer. So it goes up until there. And we're gonna need... A gap here for a gatehouse but let me just try get this as even as possible tower okay and we can have the gatehouse go here and there's gonna be a road here we're going to need a couple houses. We're going to need a well. We'll get this evolved as well. And engineer's post. And actually... This is not how it needs to be. We're going to have to have the road do this to hook up to here. Okay, that works out. Okay. Now we'll get another row of towers there. That should be good. That's spending our money quite wisely. We've got infinite money at this point. Timber is streaming in. Do we have enough for the request? 15. Okay, not quite yet. Okay, food here has stabilized. 
I haven't checked employment. 8%? Okay. I'm gonna keep trying to fix these houses. Might as well. Now this is desirability. So let's plaza up this whole thing. <laughs> Bam, there we go. And the small statues, I think, are the way to go on this map. This, this design is slightly inspired by Sajuk, our moderator in chat. You know Sajuk, he's on Discord all the time. Sajuk, this, this is what you like to do, right? <laughs> you, you like having these single tile statues. I'm gonna do this. So this is inspired by Sajuk. Look at that. <laughs> to reduce soldier loss, especially expensive legions during fighting, overlap two legions right on top of each other and don't move after they have engaged. Really? Counting! Counting TLS! Counting TLS! Any of you who have watched the original Caesar 3 playthrough on my channel would see this name, Counting TLS. He's, he's like a Caesar 3 master. He's a Caesar 3 master. He knows way more than I do. Uh, he's like super technical and always correct. <laughs> Let's dispatch that. We can now shift the furniture industry over to this side. And we can cut back on the furniture production here. We actually don't need all of this. We'll just have a little bit to keep that going. Because I think if I set this to getting furniture... It will get from the right side, I'm pretty sure. Right? Okay, looks good. These houses have moved in. These towers are getting manned, okay. I think our defenses are maxed out. We're now just waiting for this to fill out and we can't... I mean, I know there's a, a glitch where you can get two barracks, but I'm not gonna do that. So now, we gotta start setting up a ceramics industry, which I guess uh, we, could, we could double up. We could double up. If I have a warehouse, I could have a couple warehouses right here and set this to accepting clay and set this to accepting pottery and we set this to start importing clay we can't import pottery right okay we're gonna start importing that and then we can have what's our employment like eight percent workshop pottery There we go. We've got a pottery industry going to get these houses further evolved. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, we'll let that all evolve. Uh, we could get another small statue here, like that. We could plaza this up just to make sure this stays evolved. There we go. All of these are working. How's employment? We'll keep taxes at 5%. We're paying slightly above Rome. We could pay a bit less. We're gonna need... We can start taxing people, might as well. We can put down that amphitheater that I wanted there. We can... Can I get rid of this? If I do this with the aqueduct, we can clear this off. Clean up that look. Yeah, perfect. So I can actually, like, get rid of one farm. Oh, we're under attack. Why not put the Senate in the middle? Uh, it just takes up too much space. I'd rather maximize population. If I have any extra space in there, I'm putting houses. Okay. Where are they coming from? This side? Okay. Let's slow things down. We gotta... Bring all of our soldiers over. Oh, this map is so big. And... We do not yet have enough javelins. How, how big is this invasion? Saud? Yeah.
Ooh. And what is that? Um, Cortana is asking a question. Cortana, go away. <laughs> Cortana's been doing that to me. Cortana just suddenly says, Hey, would you like something? N not, not right now. Not right now, Cortana. Not right now. Um, I'm going to bring the javelins over. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought my computer crashed. Um, okay, can we actually get these legions over here in time? I think so. Um... I suppose this column formation is still going to be the best possible formation, right? We have to split them up a little bit. Because I don't want them reaching our towers. That looks like a real formation, right? Wait, are you serious? Are they going the other way? You guys... Oh, come on! Please walk the right way. They tricked me. They're actually going the other way. Oh, uh, these guys. Where are you guys from? Carthaginians? The Carthaginians are tricksy. And their soldiers move faster than ours. I thought they were going to come down that way. They came down that way the, the last time. Okay. Hopefully they give us time to... To, <laughs> to catch up with them. Come on, guys. Leg it. Leg it. Come on. They're going there because of the industry behind the wall? Maybe. Maybe they're going for our industry. I don't want to lure them in, if at all possible. So I'm going to pull these guys back. Legions are... Going as fast as they can. Come on, just give us a little bit more time. Just give us a little bit more time. We've got a few more javelineers on the back of this. This is why I want to get horses, so they can run around and uh, delay them. I can always throw horses at the problem. And I think we made it. I think we made it. Okay, okay. There we go. Tower's doing their work. That looks like a proper formation from me. The little gap there, I don't think they can squeeze through. They'll engage the, the infantry at some point. Javelineers can start throwing things. Elephants are going to be shot. There we go. They're trying to use the elephants to tank, but I think... I think they, they wasted their tanks. Ah, oh, ceramics are starting to come in here. Okay, okay. I think we've been pretty efficient with our usage of troops. Okay, okay. I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna be fine. By the way, the last time I played this mission, I won the mission before apparently the largest invasion. So... I want to fight off that large invasion. There we go, we won, they won. Are we gonna get that guy? Bashim, Marmaduke, and Mustafa. You guys get to live today. Okay, we lost a good number of troops. But we can return to fort. There we go. Now, these places do not have access to a bathhouse. Let's give them a bathhouse. And I think I sh how is the... We're gonna need another market. We definitely need another market. Let's get a second market down because it's just getting the food out there. It's a bit of a pain. Ah, we did it. We did it. <laughs> I can use a javelin to kite them. Uh, says counting. Counting TLS. Uh, yeah, I know we could do that, but... Uh... Are we actually... Oh, this place is not accepting furniture. Um. <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, yeah, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't really want to do that. I, I kind of like just letting things go. Now, these need entertainment. I do not have a gladiator school. 
Let's get that down. Uh, that might block a farm that we need. Let's just shift it over to here. How are the gods feeling? Indifferent, okay. Gladiator school is down. Invasion is over. And I think that is gonna be pretty good. All right, so looking at some things here, we're now getting furniture and pottery into this area. So I'm gonna set this to getting pottery and I'm also gonna set up very quickly another warehouse right here. And we need to get pottery over here right away because looking at these houses evolve, I think we're gonna need pottery uh, as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, money is being infinite, defenses are all set. There's still a few wolves around. Uh, this furniture seems to be going along quite okay. We're gonna put down one more furniture workshop just to get that sort of going along there. And uh, with all this money, we can just sort of keep things going. We're bringing more furniture over here. We are producing furniture here. That should be enough to supply that area. Uh, military is looking pretty fleshed out, still got a ways to go. And I think we can have another pottery workshop as well to get that converting a bit faster. Okay, so now I want to make sure our food supply is as stable as possible. So I'm going to add on extra wheat farms, couple there, couple there. And I'm going to set up the second row of farms, the second row of farms so we can get a second type of food. I want all of these, the two by twos, to be grand insulators. So I'm going to do, let's see, one, two, three. That's going to have to go there. And we can have a road that wraps around like this. And it's going to wrap around. One, two, three. Yeah, it's going to wrap around like this all the way to there. Right? And we're going to connect to that up. And we're going to have like a couple houses here and there. So that should be safe. And then we do need to shift this road over. So we can clear some space off from here. And that is going to allow us to... Ah, I do need to shift this road over one tile as well. And by the way, I do need this road to exist because the barracks is sending uh, the tower troops over to this side by a road connection. So we do need that road to exist. But now, what is our employment like? Unemployment of 3%. Okay, let's just sort of make sure wheat stabilizes here. Next sure four wheat farms should do it. Uh, also, wait, this road is, is wrong. This is not how I want the road to be. This road needs to be one, two, three, like that. So we can have all the vegetable vegetable farms sort of contained nicely in there. Pottery has come in, fantastic. Now we're gonna set this to getting furniture. So this one's set to getting pottery, that one's set to getting furniture, that should stabilize soon enough. And extra wheat farms can go around the outside like that. And then we kind of just need engineers posts sort of everywhere. And we've reached 2,000 people, would you look at that? Ah. Population's getting up there. We've got a long way to go. We've got 7,000 people that we need to fill up here. More people moving in, plenty of people there, fantastic. Uh, so engineer's post there. Um, how can I make this? We could probably have an engineer's post there as well. I'm just gonna split up a bunch of engineer's posts to make sure none of these farms actually collapse we'll be we'll be careful we'll be careful oh that road there has returned as well so i guess i could get rid of that and just have a backup engineer's post there that's the gatehouse road there used to be a prefecture there until i realized this is a northern map and there's no fires <laughs> okay so you can see money is infinite and also i'd like to start sort of importing Wow, we're actually not... Uh, let's get another pottery workshop down there. Uh, I would like another warehouse. Which I could just place over here, actually. Warehouse, right there. 
and set this to accepting marble because I want to import some marble so we can get some uh, oracles down. Let's see, marble. Can we not import it? Does no one sell? Oh wait, do we produce marble? We actually, we actually can produce marble, right? Marble quarry, yes. So let's just get a little bit of marble. There we go. Uh, so, that's gonna help bring in a bit of marble, so we can get the oracles going. Some desirability issues might come along once I start deleting these small statues. I gotta be very careful about that. Uh, this filled up with the wrong thing. That's supposed to be vegetables only. And we're gonna set this to... ...bring over the wheat. Alright, please shift the wheat over this side. There we go. And that is employees needed. Alright, so this block of housing does support a lot of people, but uh, yeah, it's gonna need it's gonna need some work. I think I can delete these tents on the back. Because the houses will eventually evolve to two by twos once we get them to large insulates. And I could shift things around here a little bit. I could have an oracle there. If I shift these two over one, have that school there, have the bathhouse there, and we could have the barbers. Do we not have a barbers? We could fit something there. But oh, these houses just evolved because no furniture, right? Furniture was sort of delayed a little bit. But furniture's just sort of reaching here, so okay. That should be fine. Is there still... there's still a hundred wheat in there. So that's gonna cause a few problems. But let's see if we can... yeah. Just distribute that furniture please, so we can get these houses evolved again. Fantastic. Okay, that looks like it's stabilizing. Okay, so... these are... we're just a little short there. Make sure... Yeah, it is industry and commerce that, that takes a hit. That's not too big of a problem. Ah. Snorateten says, Back in the day, my whole family couldn't win this one mission. Me and my brother were the first to beat this mission. I'm now on mission 9. Ah, fantastic. This is the first mission where you really have to know what you're doing. Ava Twitch says, I have a tip for you. You can build more barracks if you build a few barracks immediately. It is another bug. Yes, you can get two barracks, maybe even three if you're fast, but I'm not going to exploit that. That's totally an exploit. <laughs> All right. So we are shot by a bunch of people, but we have to just sort of... That hundred wheat is annoying. I'm just going to very quickly fix that. Uh, granary. And this is supposed to be accepting vegetables. Okay, that's just accepting wheat. Okay. It seems like we're struggling to keep wheat supply going. Could I move this aqueduct? If I wrap the aqueduct around like this, instead of like this, I could have room for more farms like that. Rotate to clean up the edges. Okay, that looks good. Employment should be okay. If the walkers walk this way, they should pass... They should pass those houses. We'll see if employment manages to stay stable. If not, I guess I could just have a couple houses there because if I'm calculating correctly... One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, there'll be room for two houses there. Okay, food coming back in. Where's the furniture? Can I shift the warehouse of furniture to here? That would make things a little bit quicker in terms of getting it. Accepting furniture, yes. Not accepting furniture there, okay. Are these all okay? Ah, oh, right, because we opened up trade routes. This is just weapons there, okay. Are weapons, like, stockpiled up? I think they are. 
I mean, we could save some employees by knocking out an iron mine. Right? That helps. How much is this? 10? Yeah. So this is now not accepting furniture. I guess I could boost the... Do I need to boost furniture production here? No, I think it's fine. Rome increased the price of one of the goods you can trade. Importing this... Oh, we're gonna make even more money. I mean, not that we need it, but... Our card is returning from a delivery. You're off getting more furniture? I mean, how's the furniture supply here? We're out of furniture. I think I need to temporarily set this to also getting some furniture. I mean, I could sort of put up a furniture industry here, but it'll be a bit messy and I'd rather not. So let's get that going. Okay, none of the farms are going to be collapsing. That's fine. Look at all of these engineers all going up this road. That's a bit extreme, but okay. Ah. Our population went up a little bit. Are people not moving in? No, people love you. Lack of housing prevents immigration. Are all these houses full? All these houses are full. Okay. We can get a couple of those there. That's going to become a two by two. So to get these houses evolved, we need them to have a library. And then we're going to need to import oil. So we could import oil to... I guess it should stay around here, right? If I have another warehouse here and set this to accepting oil. I'm trying to keep things symmetrical as well. I'm trying to keep things symmetrical so they look nice. Don't forget the gods, they are displeased. We, we tried to keep Mars happy with extra temples, but oh well. We're gonna be putting down oracles soon. We do have two there, so I can actually go ahead and put down an oracle right there. Look at that. Maximizing the space there. It is within two tiles of the road. It says the building needs road access. Oracles do not need road access. So that should help keep the gods happy. Okay. Probably should clear off one more Mars temple as well. Shift this over here, I think. That's a bit better. Potteries come down. We've got two getting furniture. How's the pottery supply? Pottery supply is okay. Some furniture has come in. Okay. Just gotta bring it on over. And I think I should... Oh, we're starting to get some cavalry. Okay. Raw materials, timber yard. Just boost up the furniture production a little bit here. There we go. Just a little bit. That's looking fine. This road is looking a little weird. I'll leave it. It's okay. So this is where we're selling furniture. Producing as much as possible. Um, we're actually... Oh, th this is slowed down because of labor, right? Ah, we're gonna be attacked again, but I think we have almost full military and we've got at least six towers on both sides. If they attack from here, I think it's gonna be no problem. If they attack from here, uh, it should be pretty good as well. Should be pretty good. Am I using this city's design to make it more challenging? No, I'm using this because I find it interesting and it's actually easier. <laughs> this three deep housing... Three deep housing makes this block just more efficient. It's just a huge strain feeding this many people. It's basically 2,000 people in this block and we haven't evolved it yet. The furniture and pottery should be stabilizing. Furniture, pottery, yep. So that means we can now just start importing oil, which is going to import right into this warehouse. And we can evolve things up to uh, large insulates. Um, don't mind me, just adjusting my chair. My chair sinks every few minutes. It's a bit annoying, but I need to buy a new chair. Meanwhile, uh, we could at least probably start... Uh, actually, no, we need we need the population short by 100 employees. Jeez, I think we have a couple too many wheat farms. We can get rid of a couple of those. Uh, we need these houses to evolve. 
And then we're gonna need to start planning on a second residential block, which uh, doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just something that, that boosts up population. I mean, I'd like something along here. But I'm not sure how I want to do it quite yet. But I guess since we have the money, I should just go ahead and start planning it. How do I want my next residential block to go? I don't know, I kind of don't want to build it because I want to see how many houses, how, how many thi people this block can support. Medium statues can go there. We'll just put a small statue there for now. And we could put an academy down if we so desired. We're still producing too many weapons, I think. We just do that. Cut back on weapon production, I think. It'll help out employment. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Oh, that, there was still furniture in there, damn. We gotta get more furniture delivered down there, but most of it's over here, so that's fine. That's fine. Maybe I'm overproducing furniture? Okay, that should help solve employment problems, yeah. So oil should come in here, allowing these houses to evolve. So let me just speed things along. Come on, one of you should be selling oil, right? No? There we go. Okay, once oil comes in, that will boost up our population. These guys are heading here, selling oil, fantastic. These two markets can go get oil now. They're pretty much stocked on everything else. Okay. Okay, there's a U-shaped block design you found on Homer SPC. Yes, Homer SPC is another Caesar 3 channel. Uh, Tandis here is saying the U-block design. U-block design is pretty interesting. But let's just see if we can get this to evolve properly. Oil is going to start coming in here. Oil has been delivered. There we go, large insulase, yes. Fantastic, fantastic. There you go, you can see it's filling out the back row there. That evolved wrongly. Oh, this evolved. Oh, that's... Oh, that's not right. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. So that house there should evolve into a 2x2. Two two. I need to get rid of that. So that house there should evolve into a 2x2. Two two. That actually knocks down my population pretty severely. This is annoying, but I'm gonna do it. We need those two there to evolve. That row there. What happened here? Is it actually... Oh, this is... This is one tile not quite fitting, is it? How can I make this look acceptable? Because there's one house there. I... How does this fit? Oh, this is, this is not quite right because of the gatehouse, is it? Ah, yes, this is one short because of the gatehouse. I see the problem. Okay. How do I want to fix this? That's a little annoying. Uh, hmm. Well, anyway, this is all bringing in more people, I think. Some of these, yeah, yeah. We lost some people because of the rearrangement. That will fix itself. That, I'll, I'll get back to that. Maybe I just leave it as is? Or do I do something different? Maybe I just put a small statue right there. It's fine, it's fine. Move the gatehouse by one. I could only make it more to the right rather than more to the left. And if it's more to the right, it's basically just less population, which I don't really want to do. Meanwhile, look at this amazing amount of money. I'm just going to plaza this whole farm area up. Fantastic. And I should actually probably put like oracles around the edges, right? Can I fit like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? So one, two, three. 
I'd like to put an oracle here to help that desirability. So I'm going to fix this road first. Actually, no, I should do it like bit by bit. So if the, the problem with desirability here is if I remove a statue and put down a house, right? That counts as a tent and affects the desirability of these houses on the back, right? So if I replace all these small statues with one, like, new houses, they're all going to count as tents, which break these large insulae back down to... Uh, back down to... Uh, one by one houses. And that can mess things up quite a bit. So you got to do one at a time. So I'm going to do one on each side first. Get rid of one of those, put one of those down, and there we go. So we're going to slowly replace the statues with houses, one at a time. And we're under attack again. Okay, let's see what we're up against. From there, okay. I don't know if they're going to come from here or the left, but just in case, I'm going to split my forces up a bit. We'll see which way they go. Last time they came this way. We can do this, we can do this. These guys are pretty fast, and we have... Full Fort of Cavalry as well, which I will send here. Now, how much of them are coming? Oof. It's quite a lot, it's quite a lot. We'll try to keep things organized on the back of this as well. I think I'll set this to getting furniture and pottery because we have one dedicated to furniture anyway. How's our employment? Shot by 32. Okay, we'll wait for the houses to move in before putting down more. All right, all right, all right. That's quite a lot of you. That's quite a lot. Is that all of you? I think so. So I don't know if they're gonna march to here or to here. We gotta keep an eye on which way they're going. And if they're going to the right, we gotta pull all these troops back. Now, which way are they gonna go? This way or this way? I think they might be going... Where's our infantry? There. I think they might be going here. Right? We'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. Ugh. How's our food supply doing? It's okay. So people aren't gonna move in because of... Uh, because of... Oh no, they're coming this way. That's terrible. I hate how we can't really tell. No, no, no. Walk around this way, walk around this way. Everyone come back here. You are gonna have to come back this way. We have some cavalry to hold them off. <laughs> okay, let's hope we can get our infantry to where it needs to be. In time. This is why I wanted cavalry. They move faster. Okay. Let's hope... we'll be okay. Please stop and wait for a while, so we can uh, wait for, for our troops to get here, yeah? <laughs> ah. I should send them here first, then send them back the other way, right? It, it should work like that. Okay, here comes some infantry. Okay, please wait as our troops make their way over. Just, just, just wait a little while longer. Just a little while longer. It's gonna be okay. Are they coming in? I think they're coming in. All right. Here comes some of them. Our infantry is just about going. Let's charge our cavalry forward just to delay them. And here comes the rest of our infantry just in time. 
I don't mind running the in the cavalry around. Let's bring this infantry over this side. All right, all right. That turned out okay. Couple of guys survived. Mustafa and Saud. And here, 16, return to fort. Here, 16, return to fort. Here, 16, we didn't lose any of you. Nine cavalry, okay. Uh, 16. And we lost pretty much one... We lost one Prima Legion. And the cavalry. Employees needed. Oh, people actually moved in, I think. There we go. Uh, so let's just continue to slowly replace these houses. And there should be... Another house there. Another house there. Okay. And if any of these devolve, we'll, we'll just sort of have to put an oracle on the outside or something. Okay. Kiting with Javelin, pull one enemy legion at a time instead of all at once can greatly reduce casualties. I probably should do that. I probably should do that. Ah, oh, okay. So now, with all this money, I gotta focus on building up another sort of housing area. At least something simple. Because this is gonna probably get us halfway to our, our target population. I think this block can reach 3,000 people. Maybe a bit more, but I'm gonna need another block, which I... Do I want to build it on the left or do I want to build it here? I could build it here, I guess. Uh, it's kind of awkward. I, I don't know what kind of block I want to build. But some resources are over on this side, which makes it a little easier if things are on this side. Do we have too many ceramic workshops? No, I think it's okay, actually. We just have too much pottery. Unemployment of 2%, though. Is wheat holding up? I'm just kind of worried that wheat is... not gonna be able to hold up here. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. The next house is coming in. Fantastic. So we can now replace one more over there. We can replace one more over there. And I could... I'd like to finish off this block. And I think an academy is good desirability, right? So I'm gonna give him an academy, just because. Now, uh, there should be, yeah, one more there, one more there. There we go. These oracles on the outside should help keep these desirabilities okay. Can I actually see uh, desirability? Should be fine. It's just a little low there, I think. And look at this block. This block is fantastic. I love this block. Whew. Looks good. All right, so I'm, I think I'm overthinking this quite a bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and put another block here. Um, what kind of block do I wanna put here? One, two, three, four, five, I think. That should be okay. If I build a block like this, and I just have a couple gatehouses like that, and I clear that off, and I clear that off, I could have a row of houses like that, have a reservoir, here. the reach here. One, two. Does that? One, two, three, four. Oh, it needs to be here, I think. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put down that. I'm And I'm making a, it five because I want to put a senate in this block. Uh, shouldn't be too much to, to ask for. Now, there's a house there. We could put a granary here. 15 timber. All right, I guess I could have like surplus timber just sort of accepted into here. Uh, 
right? And I'll just put down an extra timber yard so he starts stocking up on timber, okay? Have those houses evolved? Okay, I think it's just one more on this side. And then we're gonna do one there, one more on that side, and one more on that side. Oh, there's a couple empty tiles right in the middle there. Let's put... A distant Roman city is threatened. It is defenseless and you're the only city that can help dispatch a release force and quickly. Okay. Couple gardens in the middle there. Now. A small force will attack in 24 months. A small force. I guess if I send... I should send three, right? If I put... Oh, Prima Legion's already... Okay, let's let's send Prima Legion, the fish... You know what, I'll send both javelins and we'll keep the legionnaires. Right? That should be able to handle a small force, so let's go ahead and dispatch that. There they go, they're off. And off my troops go. Ah, oh, fantastic. Go, go deal with that threat to a Roman city. Now, on the back of this, um, I actually need like an ac a reservoir right here. So I'm going to do that. Reservoir. Right there. Aqueduct. Right there and there. Okay. That will allow me to do this. There we go. We can get rid of that. And we can... Large statue. Ah, oh, that won't work. I actually don't want to block that off. Can I do that? And that without blocking? Yes, okay, okay. Medium statues can go... Oh, that would block it off. I'll figure that out. Um, okay. So a housing block is here. Let's go ahead and put down a senate like that. I wanted to put a granary right here. Uh, like that. And for farms... This would actually work, right? If I do that. If I squeeze in enough farms around here, we could actually make this work. <laughs> it looks a little silly, but it's gonna work. Oh, I really need to move my military academy. Actually, it doesn't matter. I've got infinite money. Military academy. Just, just stick it up here or something. Yeah, that's fine. Military academy can go there. You know what? I'm gonna move the barracks as well. Barracks is gonna go up there as well. There we go. Making room for more wheat farms right here. Do I still need this gatehouse here? If I move this gatehouse over, and that, I can, I think, fit a farm there. Get rid of this reservoir. We're gonna need maybe the reservoir here for now. Gatehouse will go here. Like that. Okay. Six farms. I can't believe we fit six farms in there. A uh, large statue can go there to, to make up for the desirability. And that looks good. And for symmetry. And gardens. Ah, looks fantastic. Looks fantastic. We'll wait for that to come down. Uh, furniture and pottery is actually within walking distance, so I actually don't need to get anything. This is actually a pretty decent spot for... Uh, for housing. A row of medium statues there. We can plaza this up. Looking good. We're gonna need some... Actor Colony, Gladiator School, like that. So we can have 
Theater. Amphitheater. I do not have an engineer's post here, which I should definitely get down. Engineer's post, doctor. And an oracle can go right here. Perfect. Theater, amphitheater, bats can go right there. Oh wow, I... The Senate evolves from desirability? I didn't... I didn't know that. The Senate evolves from desirability? Huh, look at that. That's a fancy Senate. Hmm. We're living the high life over here in Mediolanum. Anyway, food's coming down. Let's get a market down, shall we? Yep, looks good. Uh, what else do we need here? Uh, school. We do need a school. So that can go... Right there, uh, we're gonna need a library, which can go right here. And do we need anything else? School, baths, libraries, theater, amphitheater, uh, doctor, barber. We need a barber. I guess that's going there. Do we need anything else? Forum? No, we don't need a forum. The Senate's already there. Is that all the services we need? I always forget. Uh, temple. We do need a temple. Which temple do we want to put down here? We have Ceres on the inside of this one. Do we have two temples here? Ceres and Venus are inside. Um, I guess we'll give you Venus. And to keep things even, we'll get rid of that. How the gods feeling? Two temples to all. All happy. Okay. This requests 26 months to comply. We are not stockpiling timber, is it? Seems like we aren't. Don't mind our towers killing those wolves. Timber yard. Let's just boost up timber production a little bit. That might start stockpiling, yeah? And maybe we get rid of one workshop. Now timber should stockpile. Meanwhile, over here, do we have a few more small statues to replace with houses? We do. That's one there. Um, that's one there. Okay. Almost. Almost. All these houses are maintaining. This 3 deep housing. I love it. It's great. Okay. These houses have now evolved. This market's gonna go get more stuff there. I can just have more... These are all the services we need, so we can just fill up... You know what, let's... It might look good if it's gardens in this case. No, gardens don't always look good. <laughs> we'll mix things up. Ah, okay. But I'm going through the same principle as this one. Those houses have now evolved, fantastic. First feeding for this row is good. There's just no oil here. If I set this to accepting oil, I might be able to set something over here to getting... Getting oil. Oh, that house has evolved. No access to any religious facilities. I could actually provide a religious facility. That doesn't block... That blocks a little bit. If I do this... Give you... From Temple to Mercury, we can clear that off. And I actually want to put an Oracle right here to combat the low desirability of the Reservoir. Okay. Is everything doing okay here? Uh-huh. So this row and this row are okay. We don't need any Oracles on the outside. 3% unemployment. All of these houses have evolved. Okay. This house doesn't have access to a fountain. We could probably give you a fountain, right? It's actually a little tricky. No, it's not. Fountain can go right here. If I just do that. Fountain. There we go. <laughs> we can actually evolve this. Too little entertainment. I could actually shift the, the actor colony and gladiator school to over here. And you know what? I probably should. I'm just bothering to upgrade that house there. Can Actually, fine. Uh, actor colony. That's a little annoying. 
What's the road like? Ah. There we go. Uh, workshop, part three. We can have that back, no problem. So actor colony is going to be there. It's going to pass that house. We can get rid of that one. Okay, we're just maximizing our space and houses here. Just maximizing things. Ah. Maybe one more market in the new housing area. I think it's going to be okay. It's just the first feeding which can always be a little tricky. So let's go ahead and get another row of houses here. We're going to need to do some desirability things on this side. Large statue there, I think, and an oracle here, I think. Yeah, that's good. So now we need to figure out how to get oil over to this side. We do need a warehouse. That should really be no basic educational facilities. This really should be... Uh, how do I do this? Food seems to be fine, actually. So, 3,000 people, that's good. All right, all right. It's going well, it's going well, it's going well. Just trying to maximize things a little bit. But how do I want to maximize this fully? Is food really holding up? I worry about the next feeding. We, I think, I'm pretty sure I need this many farms. I could probably just cut back on stuff there. And for looks, I'm gonna move the actor colony to here. Gonna change that to a warehouse. Set to getting oil. There we go. And that's gonna grab oil from over here where we're importing it to, to over here. So we can evolve these houses, bringing in more people. And with... Oh, we actually have enough timber to send that off. Dispatch that. And now with all this unemployment, I can just dump a bunch of vegetable farms here. Get all these going immediately. This seems a bit excessive, but more people are moving in. And I'm gonna get a second type of food here as uh, we have another couple houses here. Is it just two? I oh, know it's there, there, and there. Anything devolved? No, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Okay. This block is fully evolved. Uh, do I want to change that house there? I don't know if I can get away with it. I might be able to. Let's see what happens. All right. Ah. What's up with these houses here? Why did these devolve? That's... I have unemployment, right? What happened here? It's fine on all the other sides. Can't be desirability. Oh well. Um, if we have unemployment, I can get away with this. Oh, there's no fountains here, of course. Uh, let's keep things symmetrical. There we go. And as that evolves, we're gonna have to fix this. We have to fix this. Ah, that's annoying. Wait, don't do that. We need the house here and here, and make sure we have small statues blocking there and there. Okay. Timber was dispatched, and this row is now complete. That row is now complete. This row uh, got messed up. That row is complete. Okay. And just to make sure desirability on this side does maintain, I am going to put another oracle here. Okay. 
Meanwhile, this side looks to be doing okay. The market is fully stocked. Needs a supply of pottery, that should be fine. Pottery, oil, these have actually become large insulates, fantastic. All evolving nicely, nice big grow houses there. And this you can see here when it's too, uh, too, ah, which one do I delete? Which one is more full? 65, 62, unlucky. So these can evolve into two by twos. There we go, fleshed out, nice. Okay. So this new housing block gets our population to where it needs to be. We are short by 19 employees, not too big of a deal. We have a second type of food here and they need a Colosseum to evolve further. We can facilitate that. Uh. Ah, counting TLS does say. These evolved in the wrong direction, but it shouldn't have happened because there were statues there earlier. Um, yeah, so we solve that. And I think I'm going to put the gladiator school, the actor colony. And we are now going to need the lion house over on that side. We can now... What just happened? What? No furniture? Alright, now that is the end of part one of Mediolanum in Caesar 3. Thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to check out part two, which I'm going to be linking on the screen right now. So just click the button or touch it if you're on mobile and it'll bring you to part two, where I'm going to be doing some interesting challenges and also dealing with that largest invasion, which is yet to come. All right, I'll see you in the next video.